Salutations, oil crew. This is your captain, Jolly Roger. And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, jumping right back in. And we're in the same clothes. Because it's the same day. Proud of you, boys. All of you. So we just killed a whole bunch of... Uh, Holmesmen? Starving down and out. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we I was, I was half time. expecting the rest of us to be like, oh for life! Laurels and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh no, oh, we were supposed to we prevent will. a robbery, not you not know, replace the robbery. He'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before oh, yeah? they know where we are. No, oh, we allowed good plan. ourselves to get a step behind at Blackwater. That won't happen again. Let's make some ground! Yeah. Get on your bikes and ride! That's a, that's a queen reference. <laughs> so, I mean, so far it's just been a whole lot of snow, but even in the snow, there's a lot of dynamic within the weather. Wasn't he at the camp with Cole? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. Okay, you got it. You want him back alive? Oh, got to get my lasso. Yeah, that's why they gave me the lasso. Almost like they knew it was going to happen. Now, come on. Is there a way to go faster? Yeah, yeah. Stay back. I mean, you could try to shoot at me, but I mean, if you're not going to I just got to ask you some questions there, friend. Oh. oh god. There we go. I apparently I let him go. You're coming with me. Come on. That was super quick. Mister. Let me take what you got first. Because I mean let's be honest. So while you're here. Yeah, same. Pick up. Just let me go, come on. I gotta find out who you are. I gotta find out why you're connected to Mr. O'Driscoll. Please, please, you don't need to do this. Let's go for a ride. Jesus! He just threw a human! That's kind of impressive. But whatever. Uh, can I not. Just, oh, there it is. There was no option to, like, just get on, so I was worried. More? I don't know. You don't know your name. It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. Listen, Duffy, Kieran it's a Duffy. Real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I advise <laughs> you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Kieran, Kieran Duffy. Get some cinematic view going. Yeah. Come on, just name your price. Oh, this doesn't do much in the way of finding where to go. So I maybe I shouldn't. Nothing real about him, honest. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Jesus, sorry. Arthur. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> I assume that's the end of conversation, so 
we'll meet back when we get there. Lucy, I'm uh, I'm home. Oh yeah, Here I gotta hitch, are. gotta hitch my you horse. Shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Let's remove Karen. Horse bonding increase. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to shut up? Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Uncle! Try this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp. I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. He kind of well sounds done. like Seth. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I got to figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. That fire looks nice. All right. So far, it's it's a whole bunch of story. I'm I'm kind of excited to get out in the world and be doing my own thing. Oh, I got a bronze on that one. Didn't do too hot. How you doing, Bill? Okay, just gonna push on past me then. You okay, Bill? Are we gonna hit this train then? Seems well, that way. That's not what I asked you, but whatever. That's cool. So everyone called Uncle Uncle. Like it wasn't it wasn't just John. Let's go inside here. See oh wait, I think he's I think he was back there. Was that him? <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Pearson? Oh that's him. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? <laughs> when I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> we were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> what an asshole. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. <clears throat> well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill <laughs> hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. We gotta find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold book on. learning. Here. You need some need out there. Assorted salted awful. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look at this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come on. You got a, you got a po good point. Do I get a bow and arrow in this game? <coughs> I just got really excited about that. <laughs> You take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. I should have waited like five fucking seconds. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. <laughs> You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. I like this Charles character. Yeah. I hope we get to know more about him. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. 
I sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Ah. And you know things. I'm glad. We'll head up this way. Find some That's higher ground. Does. It's over, Anakin. Been a wild few days, all right. I have a high ground. Right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Yeah, apparently a lot of people well, don't. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. No. Oh. Ask John. I'm sure. I'm sure he's got some answers for you. There's some patches of grass here. This is yeah. Good. Oh, uh, it's for things to eat. I was like, neat, Charles. Look down this way. There's some grass and the snow. Hmm. The winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Now shush. Stop here a second. I see something. You see where? Oh, we're getting off. Got it. There's deer been here recently. Hmm. How can you tell? How can you not? <laughs> Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Yeah, you got a good point. No, that's not what I meant to do. Here we go. That's a really cool system. I like that a lot. Instead of just pulling a whole bunch of guns out of your, I mean, your back pocket, you know. Uh, it's cool that... Crouch down a bit. That you're limited to whatever you carry on your horse. I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Oh. You can use eagle eye to highlight animal tracks. Oh, it is in this game. Okay, interesting. Neato. I'm being real quiet. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm I'm, I'm stalking. I'm, it's deer. It's deer season. I'm stalking my prey. How many times am I gonna do that? Okay, I see. Oh, I see one. I see it. It's in my sights. How come? I'm, can I uncrouch for a second? Yeah, but I see it. Shh. Down there. Yeah. See him? Yes. Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. We want a good kill. Pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Yeah, obviously. Okay. Can I get my stamina back really quick? Take the shot. Yeah, okay, calm down. Let me get a bit closer. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's it's too wibbly, too wibbly wobbly. I can't hold on. Is there anything in my satchel I can? Much better, much better. Yes. There's, there's more? Okay. Attract animal's attention by selecting a call while aiming at it. 
Can I not skin this thing? Let's hurry it up, everyone. Okay. I don't know if they can see through assets like trees and stuff, so I'm not sure if this is helping at all. Unlucky, just bad. Okay, dude, my stamina has got to get better than this, right? <laughs> drink some bitters. Oh, did I drink any? No. I was gonna say, is that what we can carry? Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You're We're sure gonna pick them up. Okay. We're not gonna skin these things. Oh, right. We're not gonna skin them because we gotta carry the meat back, not just the skin. Get one of those scam like the phone calls right now. Your horse will respond to your calls as long as it is in range. Continue to to bond with your horse to increase the distance at which it responds to your whistling. Look at that! They actually hold in a position where you left them. That's interesting. Does the water wash off the snow? Kinda. Yeah, I'm coming. Jesus. Okay. Uh, stow. And it just ties hey, itself down. Back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Yep. Animal carcass can be dropped off at, uh, to Pearson nice at work, the butcher Arthur. symbol Should to be enough meat here to keep us all gang for a supplies. Few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And are these our tracks that we here. came down here for or from? We'll still have a big price on our heads. Because they're like snowed it's over. A big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. That's cool, man. This game is cool. I like this game. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go. And he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Well, I'm not about to kill Let's a bear see if we right can now. find another way around. Okay. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. I agree, actually. Real hungry. Stay well back. 
Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. So, so I'm sorry. What am I? What am I doing here? Am I, am I still going after the bear? What, Cut up here. I, off the trail. Oh. The bear has spooked your horse. When the predator is nearby, your horse gets agitated. No, no, no. Huh? Yeah, calm down. It's okay. It's okay, did the horse. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Wow. Something like that? But you didn't expect this? What? Any of this? Blackwater mess? Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. And I just thought you Every time I pet my horse... Now. You want me to move on? No. Oh, maybe not. I, I thought I got like... No, you could run it points alone. for the horse. The I did that for a friend long points, time. Whatever it is. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, it's very Dutch different. Is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, yeah. we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. 20 years? Since I was a boy. Oh, well, that makes 20 sense. 20 years? Yeah. Same, Charles. Same. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. I'm done talking. Horse. No, we're not. <laughs> do for now I appreciate you letting me take time the other night she's a strong one it's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us oh I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the count same with Bill and Brown Jack uh, careful. all of He's their horses have names that's cute he loves that horse <laughs> I hope they all make it I tried to ride the count once me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Hmm. That's cool. Does my horse have a... Oh, yeah. Tennessee... Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Tennessee something. I forget his name. Tennessee Walker? Is that it? I'm gonna hitch Taima over here. Taima. Brought some food back, boys! Easy. Oh, watch it. I'm trying. It, I'm not doing this. I'm not controlling it like that. <laughs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. <clears throat> yeah, you're welcome. We don't have to eat you now. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. To find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid I don't think that's... He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. I can't... I don't know if that's actually uh, Uncle from the first later. game. See, you got on just fine. Fucking grog Charles nozzle going on. Have a drink, boys. Grog blossom. Grog Yearned. blossom. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. 
Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. <laughs> you go rest that hand, Charles. Let me find him in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. <laughs> oh, now you, you want to leave. That one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Skin deer. Is it going to be a an upward shot? <laughs> Oh wow! Holy crap! Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money. Of course. Man! Right now I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Normally you would hang it up, yeah, you drain it, else, but whatever. You bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. There you go. After all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Man, that's impressive. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect to see an actual skinning. That was okay. Uh, the Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more information. Ooh, are there outfits in this game? I checked nothing about this game. I, I wanted everything Dutch to be a surprise. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still <laughs> here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's yes, time Dutch. for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. It's always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, <laughs> son. Well, Abigail. What's... Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. Oh, <laughs> little Jack Marston. What's He's left a of baby. Me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Shut but, up. Uh, you'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway <laughs> man. <laughs> That's so now, mean. Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower. Just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Well, I mean, we Leviticus have a choice not to rob a train. No joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right. God, I love this music. All right, let's head out. And we shall head out and rob a train in the next episode. Until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. Please catch me in the next one. I'm Jolly Roger. This is Red Dead Redemption 2. And remember, if you're going to be, be good. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. <laughs>